Hey, it's James from Finny Let's Cool. I've got Ellis from Finny Let's Cool. And on today's video, we are doing a testing on a subscriber's house. Look at this. Oh, we'll have cables hanging out. Right then, so we're into the property then. So what we're doing is doing a full test on this system then. So you can see it's quite a, an older fuse board then. So we've got the older style MCBs. So straight away then, what we do first is do a visual. So we just go around, check for stuff like crack switches, crack sockets, look for cable sizes to breakers. And already I can see a few dodges, like we've got a single <laughs> two five there on the 30. So obviously maximum that can take is around about, I think it's 27 amps. So if you're running at 29 amps, that's gonna set on fire in it. So stuff like that then. So then we'll take you through a few tests and how we do it then. So let's crack it on. So then we've got a functional test then. So what we'll do is just make sure these turn on and off. Um, and it actually isolates the breaker. So that's, that'll be a test. We'll just notice now that look, RCD test button does not trip. It's an RCD. So that's not good. So that's for the shower circuit. So obviously yeah, that's supposed to stop you getting electrocuted when you're in the shower. So at the moment, it's not doing anything. Great. So first test we're going to do is called a ZE test. So what we're going to do is set, it's a two lead test. So it's just uh, earth and line. So what we're going to do is do a ZE then. So what that is, is the earth fault loop and penis test. Fault loop and penis test. So it's best testing between line and earth all the way back to the transformer. So what we're going to do is obviously we have to turn off the power. Um, and then what we're going to do is take the main earth. So there's no parallel paths. We'll take the main earth out and we'll test onto that. And we're going to go from the main earth to line because you want the worst possible case. Because it could be that the whole property is earth through the gas and water through the property. <laughs> so if they ever get disconnected, you've lost your earth to your property. So you need to make sure that um, basically the earth coming in is actually an earth. So we'll do that first. And then we'll do a thing called a PFC. So it's the same test on the tester. So you look here, it says high current. You'll get a test result down here and that'll be in KA. So you want the best earth thing. So you get the best case um, or the highest PFC reading. So obviously the lower the resistance, the higher the current. If you look at Ohm's law. There we go. So earth is all your parallel paths are disconnected. So what we'll do is just put it on a line. We can use this bus back, can't we? So have a look. So let's press test on that and we'll get a result here. There we go. That's quite high to be fair, it's uh, 1.04, so that's really high. So, um, what we'll have to do is, well, look at improving that. So, yeah, that's not good, is it? <laughs> See, I think maximum you can have is like 0.8, so it's 1.05 is pretty high. So, yeah, um, I think well, what we can do is put a TT in, so we can put an earth rod into the ground. Um, and then make it a TT system along the side of that. Oh, you could contract, contact your distributor and they could, in fact, um, basically if they get an EV charge in the, in the future, it's a looped in supply for look. So they might even upgrade this and make this a TNCS and hopefully it'll land before, below uh, 0.35, so it'll be a lot lower. Right, so we're gonna do a PFC then, so all the earth can connect it back in. So we've got all parallel pass back in. I'm gonna test again and we are getting 1.00. So all the parallel pass get who the f is that guy? Who the f is that? Gives it, like, reduced it by 0 0.01. So there we go. All right then, so that's the, that's how you do your ZD and your PFC. So now what we're gonna do is, we've got a cooker hanging off the wall currently. Sorry, the cooker switch. Uh, it's a six mil cable, which we're just testing first. We'll show you how to do a, ra a radial circuit. So one, two, three, four. So what we're gonna do is disconnect line, earth and neutral, just so there's no parallel paths again from other circuits that are provided on earth. And we're gonna do an insulation resistance test and we'll show you how to do that. There we go then. So this, that's six mil here, which goes to oven. You can see how they're moving. So we've disconnected those. But basically what we're gonna do, in, do is insulation resistance. This tests how broken down the insulation is. So we're gonna test at 500 volts. Uh, we're gonna send it from line to earth, neutral to earth. And basically, uh, a good reading, so a perfect cable would be greater than 500 million ohm, so 500 mega ohm. And if you're getting results less than like two meg, one meg, you need to be rewiring it really. So if a person were gonna buy this house and it was getting like five meg, 10 meg, you'd say to them, right, if you're gonna be staying here more than five, 10 years, you need to be looking at rewire. But if you're getting like 100 meg or 200 meg, you could say it's gonna last quite a long time. So you should be good. But yeah, it just indicates how good your, your cables are essentially.
Around this we've got line to earth then test. What, what do we get? I just press test. I'll get them 500, that's a perfect result. We'll go line to neutral, all the loads are disconnected. So, meh, how we go then? What we got? Get them 500 and then we'll go neutral earth then. What I do, what I do like to do is send the mains voltage down the line conductor and then earth is on earth. And we've got greater than 500. So that's a perfect cable, basically. So that'll not need rewiring. It's brilliant. How rude of me. So here we have Elliot then. So I, I didn't even introduce him. So we're going to help people out and have little weeks with us where they can learn and see what it's like to be an electrician and colleges ringers and say, do you want to have a guy for a day or whatever, or a week or whatever? Now, they must have emailed us and we haven't picked it up. We haven't agreed it, but he's turned up anyway at my house this morning going, oh, but we've been booked in for a week, back from Wednesday because it's his birthday. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there we go. So we've got Elliot learning. So he's just watching and listening. He's doing all right. Are you enjoying it so far then? I thought we just a bit of testing, so it's yeah. not you don't you just stood there watching really, but watch you watch and learn, that's how it works. So next thing is the R1 R2 test. So what we're gonna do is just we can use these little crocodile clips and we've got line to earth. And then what we're gonna do is go to the other end, and what we're gonna test is line, the resistance, all the way to that end and then back. So that's what we're doing now. So we do this little cross thing and then get this R1 R2 test, and then we just write that in, the R1 R2 on the test. Shake for circuit one, two, three, four. Easy as that. There we go. So this is the isolator thing. So we've got insulation resistance. We'll put it on continuity. So we're going to go earth to line. There we go. Bang it on there. Press test. 0.15. You have to null your leads first. There we go. 0.05. So you could just minus that result. So there we go. So it's 0.10. That is your reading. There we go. Quick, quick mass. mass. Right. So also. Whoever wired this has put some blue sleeving on instead of earth sleeving, so that'll gone down as a little defect. They have clamped it in there, so well done for that, but not for the earth sleeving. We'll give it like a 5 out of 10 for that one. Right then, so we're just testing the light at the moment. So we're going to show you a radio and a ring. We'll show you the ring in a bit, but we'll show you some dodges. Look at this. So if you look at that, that is a twin and earth cable. And what they've done is use the earth as a strapper. Look at that. So you're not supposed to do that if it's twin and earth. The CPC, the earth, is a CPC. You can't use it as a live conductor unless it's like flex or anything like that. But yeah, that bare earth is not good. Also, this is not earth. So if you look there, you can see the little earth stub there. Yeah. So that is actually earth, but they haven't earthed the switch. So basically, it's just like a big human fly zapper. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. So we've got a neutral here, just tips over. So yeah, you get a bit of vacuum with that if that were loose, wouldn't you? But I think that's just doing the outside lights. So whilst this is off, we'll swap that out for a, uh, what do you call it, a little way ago, but that's crispy as hell. Yeah, we've got another dodger then. So, another one. Obviously it's a plastic base. They've just took down the old light and shoved this on. It's got an earth screw there, but they haven't even earthed it. So yeah, so in fact, they've put an earth through this, so probably this end is earth, but this base is not earth, so I have to get a little earth tag to there to fix that. And there we go, might as well earth it over here, so we're that fixed back up. Alright then, check this out then, so we're just testing the lounge socket, it's a radial, so we're trying to get a ring for you, aren't we? But, look at this, uh, earth, this is on volts, earth to neutral, we'll show you that then, that 85 volts, yeah, and then earth to line, Get in. Oh, two, 240 volts, so I think I think a neutral's dropped out. But if we go earth to neutral, we get in. 75 volts, lovely. So yeah, I think there's just a loose neutral somewhere on the circuit. So that'll need investigating also. There's no grommets on the cable entry, so that'll have to get grommeted up. After seeing all them little dodges, I'm gonna test a socket circuit now. So then, let's, uh, let's have a look. So then, so we've got this circuit one. There's already a radial in there. We're doing some of that. So <laughs> see where that goes, see what that does. We've got two new cables in there. So someone's wired the kitchen up for not put RCD protection on, which is sketchy as well, because it's ground floor sockets and new circuits need to be RCD protected anyway. So we'll whip the line earth and neutral out and then we'll have to do an end-to-end -end test. So it should be wired from the fuse board to every point and back. So we should get a ring all the way around. That's what they call it, a ring, socket ring. So uh, we'll get that um, whipped out. There we go, so what we'll do is end to end on continuity then. So let's load up. 
So an OPEC 31, so what we should expect, because that's a 2.5 cable, and that's a 2.5 cable, is to get, get these on roughly the same answers. So we should, should be getting within 0. Point, well, <laughs> no, basically 0. 0.1 really, because it's the same conductor size, you should be getting the same reading. So 0. 0.29, so between 0. 0. 0.01 difference, 0. 0. 0. 0.02 difference. And this, we should be getting a higher read, it's doing my nothing. <laughs> He's falling off here, and I think I feel. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then this one, we should get half that again. Not half that, but the ratio difference between 1.5 and 2.5. 0.46. So, there we go. So, what we're going to do is wrap them in, and then what we're going to do is do a crossover test. So, we take the incoming line and attach it to the outgoing earth, and the incoming earth and attach it to the outgoing line. And then we're going to go around every point, and we should get results within 0.05 of each other and we write down the highest number and that is your R1R2 test so that just proves that everything's got an earth essentially and there's no random circuits going off so if you've got a really high reading it's either a dodgy socket front or if you look at the back of it and test it and it's, and it's really high still um, it's probably a radial off that ring right then we've got a nice reading then so what we've got is Elliot doing a, a ring test so 0.35 on the lines so do you want to top it to these then? So unflip then, get it on the neutrals, and that one, that one, where? It's a 36 mm, so it's now. Yeah, 0.36, so 0.01 difference. So because it's the same conductor size, you'd think it was the same reading you'd get if it's going the same path. Yeah, you get that? Yeah. Yeah, bang it on your ears. So it's them, them little nubs and nibs at the top. So just try to stay away from that board if you can. You see, don't get a shock. You're not quite on, on the teeth. There we go, get him on the safe, that's it. If you get him on the end, he'll just fall off. That's it, leave that, leave that. So you get your fingers out of that fuse board and then do a test. 0.85, there we go, so that's your ring end to end test. So it's not broken, it was broken. You'd have to investigate and put down that it's broken. You have to go around all the sockets to see where it's split. Hey, finally done then. So there's loads of stuff wrong with that then. I'll, I'll show you the list. There we go then, so look at this. C2, 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 C2,